Alright, hey everyone. We're, We're going, going to do a bit of a different speedrun of this game this time. time. We, we will not be able to save our game. game. We are starting with a blank, fresh save file. And so what we're going to do, this is called Roach Percent. So unlike Roach, you just got to beat Atomic, Critical Mass, and Meltdown with a regular bike. And if we can do that, we can unlock Roach. And it's an interesting speedrun because it just uses a regular bike. And we're going to look at what Rays can do. So the first thing we're going to do is turn weapons off like names because why not no passwords we're gonna go straight to extreme contest and straight to atomic novice because we can it doesn't have to be extreme or anything like that change my name we're just gonna be raised raised today I don't press wrong buttons. There we go. And, uh, yeah. So let's get started. So, three, two, one, go. Alright, so, first thing we'll notice is that this is training wheels mode. This is... This is your grandma driving down the road at night mode. This is how fast she'd be going. Um, see, when we speed run this game, we always play Neon, the best bike in the game. It's extremely fast and crazy. But, um, so yeah, we're just gonna enjoy the scenery and enjoy the race. Ray's here. He doesn't have much acceleration at all. It's very poor. His speed is top tier for the regular bikes, and that was a little weird. Um, his speed is good. His cornering is good. Turning is good. But it's not as good as I would like it to be. But, um, that's just how it goes. Hello, Gray. So the other bikes, I will have to deal with other bikes. But usually they're pretty nice, because usually I don't see them very much. I'll be sprinting right past this one in a bit. Yeah, so this is how it's going to be for now. So, this bike, Ray's, does have some interesting quirks to it, and we'll see it later on. Um, so, Neon, the bike Neon, does so well because it's max stats, and because it uses wall grinds. It's so fast of a bike that it can use wall grinds and speed up in a bunch of places. Well, this bike here, it can actually do the same thing. It can actually use some wall grinds in some places and still get a speed boost and that's gonna help me out it's not gonna help me out much in atomic here because I'm going so slow anyway I'm going so slow that hitting the walls is not a good idea most anywhere so yeah we're just gonna kick back we're gonna get lap times every race because that's just how it goes with a fresh game file. Oh boy, this one right here. I don't know if I got it or not. Triple boost. His acceleration is so poor that like... These curtains do the best they can for him. Yeah, we're just gonna chill in this race too and hope that we get good boosts.
But um, I decided to run this category and make up this category because I think regular bikes can be competitive and they should be competitive. Because they're so interesting with what you can do with them. Man, usually I'd be flying down here at rocket speed. It's a different, different playing field over here. This cornering is not fantastic. It's good. It's good for the regular bikes. But after using Neon so much, you get used to that really great turning. So we got it. We're good to go. See, yep, I might have got it. I think I got the triple. Good stuff. Poor Pulse over there. It's not doing well at all. Alright. And I hit an extra E. Oops. So this has the tunnel grind here. We can actually do our own little tunnel grind. It's not fantastic yet, but it's saves some time doing that. Even just a little bit. Because where else are you going to use a nitro here? This boost also helps. Just a little bit though. Once we get a little faster, it'll help more. Nice and smooth. The slow speed really helps that you just don't make as many mistakes. It just doesn't happen. So the run feels good. You're able to complete every race. The bikes are catching up right now. Oh, see, that was good. That was really good. See, we're pulling away from them now. When you pull away from the box like that in a nitro, you know you did good. See, that speeds you up just a little. Oh yeah, and I didn't mention it, this also helps. There's just some walls in this game that have opposite friction. I see, that's good too. Good as you can ask for in this race. Good stuff. Good stuff. Final race already. Now, this is the first race you'll notice something very interesting. You'll notice it at the end of the lap. For now, we're just going to cruise on through.
check this out. I'm sliding into this wall, and I'm going just as fast as Neon would in this section. Up to 400, 430, whatever. He does the same speed. Oops, get off the wall, though. I don't know why that is. It just is. So this race is pretty fun as a result. And it allows me to pull away from the bikes, so they're just not a problem. Another thing I find interesting about this run, this bike, is that the things that I'm doing probably aren't even optimal. Probably very suboptimal, but uh, we just don't know yet. That was decent. Oh, well, that was good. Couldn't ask for much better than that. 48's pretty nice through here. So yeah, just cruising for now. It gets more interesting later though. So stay tuned. Very nice. Very good. Forty seven point five. All right. Now we start critical mass. Still novice and still raise. Now our bike goes a little faster. It's not very much, but it's, it is noticeable. So Atomic was four races, now we're doing eight. We get to discover more tracks and go a little faster. But we're still just cruising along for now. This is a little faster than it was. Yeah, look at that. No shenanigans there. Fifty point zero. Okay. Get inside of the curve a little bit there. Nice, nice. Missed that. That is easy to miss. Oh no. That's okay. And we're back over here. Yep, 
Yeah, see, I think I got that. But it's hard to tell because I'm so slow. Yeah, pull away from the bikes. We're just cruising. Cruise control. Hmm. I hate when you get stuck on the wall there, because when you get stuck on that wall, you can't get out of it. So that happens. So we've got to account for that. Ooh, that's fast. I know I got it in. So that's nice. Get it one more time. Oh yeah, I think I did. Let's go. Of course, it's much easier to get that triple than if I was with Neon. So I'm going so fast, it's easy to miss it. Almost got stuck. Because his turning is not that great. See, we're lapping the other guys. I didn't think I could ever do that with a regular bike. Oh shoot. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. No acceleration. <sighs> oh well. It happens. Moving forward. Ah, yes, this one. So, we're just gonna boost right here because we need the speed, and it's not gonna be helpful anywhere else. With Neon, I'd be boosting way up here, but this turn doesn't help me very much, so we're just gonna turn. Usually, I'd be boosting that wall, getting insanely high speed with a nitro. But that just doesn't happen here. So we're just gonna cruise. This corkscrew, you still wanna hit this wall. You still wanna go this way. Now this ramp is still janky and weird. That was lucky. That could have gone badly. I don't know a consistent strat for that one yet. Sometimes it just works. Sometimes it really doesn't. So that might happen here. And that is okay. So if this run were to become competitive, it would be about finding the things that Rays can do. Besides just cruising. Yeah, see, that was nice. Like, different places to use Nitro, maybe better than others. might be interesting to find out. Do some experimenting. <laughs> oh, that was close. Ooh, that was close too. Wow. What a good landing. Scary, but good. And that went really well.
Okay, back over here. Second verse, same as the first. I'm gonna use a nitro. The row gets flat. I like it, I like it. A lot of the stressful situations in these packs just become so much easier. Ooh, that's still good. That's really good. Nice. Could probably get up to a speed of 400 there if I was really good. Wouldn't that be amazing? Very good. Very good. Couldn't ask for much better than that. You don't... You just don't think that a regular bike can do things like this. After you, you use Neon. This crazy stuff for them. You think that Neon can only do that stuff. But then you realize, nope. There's a whole metagame here. It's just a different category. Good stuff. Oh yes, another new track. This helps. I think it does a little bit. It helps you avoid that wall, at least. Pillars, they're just easy. I was hoping for a speed of at least 300 there. But that's okay. Same strats here. They just work. Because you're off the ground and you're on the wall. You don't really slow down much. This grind, it also works. So we're just gonna grind this whole wall. Straight through here. Oh yeah, 
We ground so many walls that our shield is just done for. Totally broken. Good thing we're not using weapons. It would be a disaster. But since the shield doesn't care about walls, we are totally fine. That was fast too. Pretty good C2. Back over here. Pretty much everything's the same. I'd rather the bikes not be in my way. Oh yeah, so I'm fast enough to skip the ground here, and that speeds me up a little. Because being grounded is slow. Because my acceleration is terrible. So catching a little bit of air in that nitro is good. Look at me go. Ooh, that could have been so much worse. Yeah, so one thing I notice about Ray's is that when he's going really, really fast, his turning becomes so much more sensitive, so much better, and I don't know why that is. Because Neon's not like that. Neon turns very rigid, like not much at all. When he's going super fast, you have to use the slide turn to really turn Neon. But with Ray's, it, you'll see it here after this. See how easy that is? That's, that's weird to me, but it's nice. It's nice how it, it works like that. So that's a nice trick, and that's what makes this track one of my favorites in this run. Usually it's just a boring track for Neon, but here it's pretty fun. Ooh, that hurt a little bit, but it's okay. Caves too. Oh yes. This is usually a tough, tough track, but here it's pretty chill. This first nitro is going to be boring and doesn't seem very useful, but that's how it is. The, the nitro is not going to be any good anywhere else. That still works just fine. This section right here is usually scary, but here it's not really scary. I mean, bad things can still happen, but it's not usually. You just hold up on the joystick. This wall just has opposite friction.
nice and smooth. Yeah, so that's case too. I just like how it's nice and relaxing compared to like if I was neon right now, this would be stressful. It wears on you in a run that's over an hour long. Good stuff. Nice and easy. Okay, last race of this one. And then we're on to the gauntlet. There's nothing too special going on in this race for any bikes. It's just nice and chill. There's the satellite bonk. But uh, with this bike, it's like... Nigh impossible to even hit it. You go right under it. So that's good. You just hold up there and you go right under it. You can nitro a little bit later when the road gets flat. Get rid of this guy. That's an issue though, this bad turning leads to conning the walls there, and up here. There was probably a way to avoid it, but oh well. Now I could do the nitro here, the usual spot. Let's see if we go any faster. No, we don't. 305 is about the max. 307. It's okay. There we go. That's critical mass. Down. Here we go. Now, 
Now we're at full speed. Which is when the run becomes the most fun, I think. Because it's the same speed as time trials. See the full potential of this regular bike. Which goes pretty fast. It goes a bit faster than in Critical Mass. Like, it's very noticeable now. Oh, I can't believe that. Missed it. Well. Just gotta be more careful next time. Can't believe that was a great lap. Get out of my way. Don't you dare pass me. Wow. Okay. Gotta really turn there to not miss that. So yeah, this is pretty fast. So we're gonna grind the wall there. And here too. It helps. That was a bit better lap. 40. Seriously? Man, you really gotta control your turning there. Oh well, that's okay. Get him next time. This is just showing off what this run could be. And there's dirt one times three. Desert one. And we're back here trying to get triple boosts for a third time. And the boosts are much faster this time. Because I'm much faster. Oh, yep, see, the turning gets so much better when you're going fast. It's weird. But we're okay. room for improvement there. Oh yes, we're back over here now. <laughs> Where magical, mystical things happen.
slower than I would like, but at least that was reliable. Just gonna let her rip right here. That curve has a weird bank to it that you don't really notice until you try to curve it. good transition through there. That's fast. So we're maintaining our top speed is like 250. Nice. So this might be a pretty good lap. Okay. Okay. was a pretty good lap, but weird things happen here. Alright, back to the city once more. So we can grind this tunnel not this time, but next time we will. Mm, off the wall. Bro, get out of my way, Gray. Don't you come in. Mm -mm. Don't mess me up. Speed boost this, and we're good to go. Oh yes, look at that. Good stuff. Good. Good stuff. All right. Oops. Hit the E again. We're just raising. This race is pretty much the same as it was last time as well. It is more fun than it's faster though. I think hitting this is a good idea. Because you missed that wall. Oh. 
Over 300 speed is nice. Pretty decent lap right there. No complaints. But that's okay. Almost clicked to that barrier thing. It is not a good thing to hit that. complaints. Oh yes, yeah, so this is an interesting one. This is an inter interesting one in a couple ways. We shall see exactly what I mean in a bit. So we're gonna go super fast, rocket power, Hopefully, do good, but turning isn't amazing, so that's kind of... Um, this section here, it goes super fast. Like, look. That transition is faster than what Neon does. I don't know why. It makes this section rougher and more weird to deal with. See, we can use... We can try to use that good steering while we're going fast, but it's difficult. It's strange. Of course, this level's always strange and difficult. Super fast, not hitting the walls. See, Neon doesn't even go that fast through there. He just doesn't. You can tell that's just better steering. I don't know what it is about it. All in all, pretty good. City 3. Definitely room for optimization though.
And we're back here one more time. Good. I like that. Very nice. Hmm. Decent. At best. And these strategies that I'm doing, these ones that work, they're not even that hard. It's because I've been playing Neon all this time. I'm just copying a few things that Neon does. Like this. They can easily be proved upon. Off the wall. I don't want to be on that wall. Wall is slow. No. Okay. Good. Ooh. Nice and quick. Oh, Okay. Mm. Alright, that was good. Good stuff. 44.2, not bad. I will definitely do this run again sometime. This is fun. It's relaxing. It really is. It's not relaxing when you fall into the void or into lava, but... It's okay. Most of it is relaxing. Ooh, that was scary. That could have put me at a complete stop. Off the wall. Okay, good stuff. All right, take it easy. See, this race is a little harder now that I'm going full speed. Some wacky things can happen. I'm not going to be close to it this time. One oh, damn! I can get a fifty nine through here. Mm. 
Nice. No complaints there at all. A little slower, but it's okay. Yeah, that was a 59. Oh, yes. Can you feel the heat? This is always an interesting race, because the bikes are right here, and they can probably pass me, and it's very scary when they do. But if they fall in lava and get behind me, that's perfect. Ah, yep. Hey, that's good. They gave me some speed boost. We're gonna nitro. Be careful. Where you at? Where you at? Alright. Alright. That wasn't even that bad. Wow. <laughs> that's a weird one. I'm gonna need to practice that. I'm gonna have to practice that. Alright, we're actually in the group now. Where's the red at? Yes, thank goodness. Out of my way. 23 is not good, but it's okay. It's hard to avoid this wall. It really is. That is scary through there. Super safe strats for Nitro. Because reasons. What? What even happened? Dude. <laughs> oh well. Those are just things that happen with regular bikes, I guess. Just another deep fried bike. I gotta be able to do the last lap without falling, man. Come on. I've done it before. Control it there. All right, this right here, you're getting on my nerves. It's sure, that's a much better outcome. But yeah, if you try running this this category and get here, you might have a similar outcome. Oh, 
little salty about that volcano, but it's okay. This race becomes more fun too when you get faster. Gray, out of my way. Where are you at? Ugh. Of course. Right, give me a speed boost by bumping into me. That actually helped. That actually helped me to get a faster lap. Can't get away from that wall. Strategy for that yet. This right here is always an interesting race. It's less hard because we're going slower, but still interesting things can happen. Ray's over there going crazy using his first nitro. Ooh. Less than ideal, but we're good. We're good. This right here is pretty much the same. Go nice fast. Nice steering. See? That was really good. I'm glad that happened. Not hitting the tunnel is amazing. Turn into a great split. Happy that went well. Could go faster there. Ooh, that's okay. Not bad. I like that. All right, final race.
Ah, what was that? Just gonna hop off the road and wander in the grass meadows? Sure. Now this is strange here. You have to avoid the road. And if you can avoid the bottom of the road, you can go faster here. If you hit the road, you'll go at a speed of like 150. Very nice transition through here. I like that a lot. I hope that happens every time. Much better. See, I hit the road. Ah! Whew. Almost 180 there. Gotta learn some strats for that one, too. Come on. Much better! Ooh, yes. Ooh, yeah, that was good. I like it. Good lap three. And... Time! 107. I'm just raised. That run was not incredible, but it was a run, and it's something different. It is... It's a different pace, which has its own ups and downs that go with it. Um, different skills are necessary. Definitely need some practice. But, um, there's Roach! That's Roach percent. We've unlocked Roach by beating Meltdown. Now it's telling me to, to try Extreme Difficulty because if I beat Meltdown on Extreme, I'll unlock ne Neon. That is a whole other can of worms because for a regular bike, the Extreme Difficulty Meltdown, the bikes are going to be all over me. They're going to be faster, smarter, and they're just a nuisance. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I think I'm going to do this run again sometime. This is only my second time running this category. The first time was earlier today. I didn't record it. Um, but I really like how this is just the kind of run that you don't just reset 50 times or 10 times or 3,000 times. You just turn on the run and see how it goes. It's, it's meant to be relaxing and... And just get it done. Don't make mistakes. Alright, so, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye, everybody.